Hey guys, this is Alex with Basement Finish Pros again and today we are reviewing a small waterproofing project and the reason I chose this uh, small project is because uh, many homeowners have a similar issue in their basement and they don't know how to deal with it. So this basement had major leaks at one wall uh, specifically, uh, the rod holes and the rods inside they were rusted or the rebars were rusted and the water was making its way in the basement. So we cleaned up the wall from mineral deposits, efflorescences, we used a wire brush and a hand grinder to uh, remove any loose debris uh, like loosened concrete or chipping concrete. That way when we apply the sealer we get a better adhesion and penetration into the concrete substrate. Using a hammer drill with half inch drill bit, we drilled into the hole to open up the rod holes. Uh, we cleaned it and etched it with uh, muriatic acid. We filled the holes with injection gel. Uh, the injection gel is distributed by Waterproof America. And the reason we like this injection gel is because it comes into a two component and it interacts, chemically interacts with the water molecules. And when it's delivered, rapidly expands and it can stop an active water leak. Since the 100% solids polyurea crack filler is more dense than the injection gel, we applied it on top uh, to protect the injection gel from the elements, allowing for more lasting results. We have also removed the old caulking at the hatch door and we replaced it with our 100% solids polyurea crack filler, which has a adhesion promoter to achieve a better bond between the metal hatch door and the concrete foundation. If you have any questions regarding your waterproofing project or your basement remodeling project, uh, just give us a call, send us an email, we'll be glad to help you and answer your questions. Uh, bye for now and I'll see you on the next episode.